Well, good morning. This morning, I've made it oh, a couple miles or a couple hours away to another one of the state parks, uh, quite a ways from Syracuse. I get the chance. Hey, yeah, yeah. I get a chance to hunt this about once every four or five years, and it looks like this is the year I'm going to do it. So, don't know if I'll get anything, but if I do, I'll get back to you. Well. I'm going to show you I'm digging a coin here. I'm cutting a quarter and I think about three pennies and a dime so far. Got another uh, coin here. Everybody digs lots of, lots of coins. So I normally don't record a lot of them when I know they're a coin. But I gotta record three or four just to make the video a little interesting. <clears throat> In case I don't end up with any good stuff. And what we got here is what I like to call big money. That's a quarter. Big money. In the pack. Yeah, that sounds like another coin. I think I've only recorded one coin so far, so I think I'll record another one. Yep, penny. This is a fairly fresh drop, this is, this year sometime. Hardly recorded it at all. And we go. Well, this is the first low tone I've had all day long. which, because I just dug two pennies, two quarters right out of here. I think that's probably a nickel. Yeah. You never know on those low tones. One U.S. nickel. Yep. Okay, a lot of coins still. I'm digging on that low tone target now. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum foil when they started, but it's been getting better and better and better. Let's see what it is here. Nothing in the school there now. What's going on? I thought I. Oh, here it is. Ooh, look what I found. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That wall. Nah, that isn't anything good, no. It's real white. Well, that's another nice little sound. Tell I'm out pretty deep because I see the camera's underwater. One Jefferson. Howard. Well, I can't, didn't show you digging this one because, <laughs> quite frankly, it came back as real junk, and that's just what it is. It's a tungsten. But um, it's the second, well, it's actually the third ring in the scoop. I got another junker. 
Um, I'll show you at the end. A real piece of garbage, but yeah, this is a tungsten ring. Come back as garbage. Number three for today. Onward. Well, now I'll wrap up for Thursday, September the 20th, 2018, over there at Glimmer Glass. Not much trash today. Just two bottle caps <laughs> and this pull tab. Um, you find pull tabs, it, t it tells you a lot about the beach. So, um, in the next video, which will be above us, I haven't gotten put together yet, but I've been working on it. I'm going to talk about what the beaches will tell you with the stuff you find on it. And from there we get into what would be considered good stuff. I got one two dollars and 25 cents and quarters. There's five dimes there, two um, nickels, and five eight pennies. I got, I was getting rushed a little bit and I wanted to keep checking for some better stuff so I passed up quite a few um, coins, um, so there's quite a few coins for this late in the season over there. Now along what would call bling, it's a little earring. It's a junker, you know, just, boy, it'd be awful nice to, <laughs> got a diamond that big, but obviously it's not. And then I got into three rings. This turns out to be a copper ring. This was the very first one I dug and really took a heart to it. Um, turns out it's stainless steel. It says real love on it. It's got that little design. So it's engraved real love. I dug another one of these. This is the second one of these I've gotten. Again, probably a Walmart. Um, this one might be four ninety seven or something. And a tungsten. Mark tungsten in it. Kind of it. Got a nice little boo around the siding. I think I hope you can see it reflecting off the light. Um, but it's a tungsten ring. Um, my jeweler. Um, John Hayden, Hayden Jewelers here in the Syracuse area, actually Liverpool, tells me that they're selling a lot of these tungsten rings. Tungsten titanium um, rings, and actually they have rubber rings, believe it or not, wedding bands. <laughs> he says the kids nowadays are spending so much money on their weddings, they're not getting any gold anymore. So that's why we're finding so many of these tungsten and titanium and stainless steel rings. Well, anyway, um, and that, the rubber rings. Actually, there is a reason for the rubber rings. And he says, oh, people in the construction trade, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, they're afraid that they'll get the, uh, their, their ring finger um, caught on a strap or something like that nature, pull the finger off. That's why they have the rubber rings. And, and John, actually, if the guy, person comes in and buys a gold ring or something of that nature, he'll just give them one of those rubber rings to wear when they're working. So that's it for um, the 21st over there at Glimmer Glass. Not a bad day, only four, it's four hours worth of hunting, but well, 50 cents an hour is pretty good per hour. And I, you see, I got over that, so I, um, there hasn't been anybody there hunting too, too hard. Um, for a while, and I'm pleased at it. Okay, until next time. Oh, by the way, I'm putting together a little video on what a beach will tell you with the trash and what you find. Uh, like I said, I haven't got it together, but it's probably above us up here. Uh, it might be a day or two before I get it up. But take a look at it. Um, after 20 some odd years of metal detecting, the beach talks to us. Bye now.